Live at a Kitchen Affairs, one of my most favorite places to be with Shelly. Good morning, Good Shelly. Morning. Good morning. All right, so we've got two things going on. First is happened? dessert. Yeah, look what's happening. Boy, that thickened up quick. It thickened up quick, and as soon as it thickens up and we get there, we're going we're gonna to put it through a fine strainer because we have some of the, the white from the egg that got in there, and mm -hmm. we have some things we really don't want to have. We want to just get it nice and and smooth when we make this dessert. We want it to just melt in our mouth. So we're going to put it through a fine strainer. And this is Spanish custard cups. Right. This is called creme de catalana, actually. And we're going to stop here for a minute. And I'm going to use a spatula. It's going to take us a few seconds. We're going to get this all the way through here. And when we're done, I'm going to let probably call Michael in here to do this for us. And we're just going to keep going. And then we're going to put these in custard cups. Let them cool to room temperature and put them in the refrigerator later. But it's important that we go through this fine strainer. See the difference? Yeah, because you've got the lemon zest in there and you've got the whole vanilla bean. Yeah, I'm kind of pushing that around and I'm going to try to get all of this out. So we're going to do that. But I want to move on to the rest of our meal. We want to have a little twist on a BLT. Okay. So. And this is the time of year for tomatoes, that's for uh, sure. That certainly is. And I, whether they come, you know, wait till they get red or we start eating them when they're green, they're wonderful. And so I'm going to let this just sit here. Mike's going to come in and all right. he's going to work on this till we get it all off done. To Mike. We won't worry about the rest of that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come here. We're going to get this heated up. And in here, I have a nonstick fry pan. I'm using this interesting fish pan that you were yeah. commenting on. It's nice because I can put a lot in a in a long area. It's great for two things, like um, like a nice. Um, Let's say we have two trout or two small crappie or something. You could cook them evenly. And we're going to fry our green tomatoes, which we've sliced. And so we're going to go in flour, mm -hmm. in egg, in panko. Panko, which are the Asian breadcrumbs you'll find at any Asian market in town. Probably find it at the grocery store as well in the Asian area. And we're going to put it into clarified butter. When we come back, we can talk more about that. We're going to start to fry these up. All right. Sounds great, Shelly. And uh, already my mouth is watering. Can't wait to try it when we got it finished. We'll have okay. that coming up and the recipe. They can check it at the recipe out in line at kitchenaffairs.com or log on to tristatehomepage.com, AM Evansville, and it will be there later this morning.